Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another Craft Day Monday where every Monday I post a new video. In today's video I am going to be showing you how I made this pan cushion granny. Um, she's a pan cushion and uh, what you're going to need for this, let's set her out of the way, is you're going to need yarn for her hair. You're going to need a PVC pipe for the body. Um, I used a block of wood for the base to give her support when she stands because she won't stand on her own. Um, you're going to need a styrofoam ball cut in half. And I have another little ball here. And I also cut this in half. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. So what we're going to do first is we're going to build the body. And I am going to, I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all now, once I start building this, it's going to get pretty tall. So at some point, I am going to be adjusting my camera a lot. So, yeah. So first, first we're going to do is build the body. And I'm just going to take some pipe cleaners, or excuse me, some PVC pipe. And um, I'm using one and a half inch. And the other parts that I just had that was scrap parts that my husband had laying around, I took them. So as you can see, first we stuck it in this way. Let's turn this down a little bit. And then you're going to go ahead and stick it on this way. And as you can see, it's starting to take shape. Now... We're going to go ahead and we're going to stick the neck in. Got that stuck in there, just like this. And the next thing, what we're going to do is this is the base. And this is what's going to be. And we're going to go ahead. And like I mentioned, I am going to be adjusting my camera a lot. Hopefully, I don't have to adjust too much. But all, as you can see, all I'm doing right now is adding hot glue. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this here. And we're going to hold it here for a little bit. Until it dries. So now I'm just holding it. And obviously I didn't hold it long enough, so I'm going to continue to hold. And we're just going to set this to the side while that dries. So while that's drying, I'm going to take my styrofoam ball and I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. So now that we got our styrofoam ball cut in half, and I'm going to check and see if my other part is dry. Okay. So now I'm going to adjust my camera up a little. I'm going to pull it up a little more. Here we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to I'm going to go ahead and take this ball and I'm just going to stick this in here to get some indent. And you're going to end up with those groove marks in it. I don't know if you can see them, but they're there. And you're going to take your hot glue and I am just going to go ahead and put a little bit in here. And we're going to go ahead and stick this on here. And I'm just going to hold it here for a minute. And now my other piece didn't stick because I waited too long. So now I'm going to have to play around with it again and stick this piece in here again. Okay. 
So I'm just cleaning off the extra dry glue that way. And it all depends on how tall or how short you want this to stand. So I'm just going to go ahead and restick this again. Now we got our head in place. And I'm just going to peel this extra glue off because like I said, I waited too long and it cooled on me. The thing with hot glue is you got to work with it. I'm trying to get where um y'all got a little bit of light. I don't know how it's looking on y'all's in but um okay now we can make it this size or we can make it taller but um i think i'm gonna go ahead and maybe leave it this size just make a couple different sizes so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some hot glue on the base and we're just gonna stick it to it just like this and you want to hold it here for a little bit so once you get it held down and glued in place I'm gonna set this to the side and I'm gonna bring my other one back So now here is the one that we had been working on and I'm going to go ahead and glue this one to the base. And this one is a little taller. I just switched them out and I'm just going to go ahead and grab some hot glue and put this all around it. And we're just going to stick this down on here just like this. And I'm just going to stick another glue stick in there and load up my gun. All right. And here we go. It's stuck in place. So this is what it looks like. Here's the base. And here it is. Now... The only other thing I did is for her boobs, I took this little ping pong ball and I just cut it in half and you get, when you cut it in half, you get two pieces and then you just glue them on right here, just like that. So that's what we have. Now, next we're going to move on. We're going to go ahead and grab some felt of your choice, whatever color you decide to go with. So you're going to get that felt and we're going to go ahead and we're going to put this on just like this. And we're just going to wrap it around and you're going to start at the base of her neck. Because it is flush colored, so you want her neck to be covered. So you're just going to go ahead and we're just going to play around with it. Let me look at see this one. Yeah. So what we're going to do is just going to go ahead and wrap this all the way around. So I am going to grab my hot glue gun and we're just going to put some hot glue on here. like that and we're gonna go ahead and stick it up here like this
and all we're doing is just wrapping this around so you're just going to continue to wrap and it can be a little time consuming and um, yeah and that's going to be covered so we're just going to go ahead and wrap this I'm going to put some here put a little bit down through here all you're doing is just basically wrapping this around and then we're going to go ahead and cut a little off and we're just going to squirt some hot glue down through here and we're just going to seal it and being very careful not to burn your fingers because if you've been following me for a while on here then you know how much I burn myself so now this is what we have and I'm just gonna go ahead and fold these back so we're gonna put a little bit of hot glue here and we're just gonna pull it down and fold it over and hold it until it dries and we're going to do the same thing to the other side and I'm just holding it a little bit until everything dries All right. This is what it looks like in the front. Now what we're going to do and you're not going this is you're not going to see that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um this is the sock that I'm going to be using and remember I told y'all I use a Dollar Tree sock. Well, here it is. And I'm just going to cut the foot part of the sock off the toe part so just gonna cut it and we're gonna go ahead and you're gonna keep this part and we still have the heel on but that's fine so now we're just gonna pull this over Just like this and you can go with any type of sock that you want to I'm gonna go with this one because this is what I like and it looks something like a granny would wear because my granny wear loud colors so and then we're just gonna and as you can see the heel part we're just gonna tuck that but we're not gonna do anything just yet Now we're got to do the butt. And we're just going to pull the skirt up a little bit. And I got some cardboard paper here. We're going to turn this down and I'm basically just going to draw a butt. But I thought I had a bigger piece than what I have. So, because I want this to be able, so as you can see, and you don't have to do this step, but I am. Actually, I, actually, I probably don't need to. We're just going to go ahead and, and just skip that step. We're going to grab, because, I mean, you can draw card, cardboard, 
That way you have something to stick to this. But um I'm gonna yeah, let I'm gonna grab a piece of paper, a cardboard. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw a butt and then just so basically we're just gonna draw the shape of, of the butt. This is what we have so far. We all know how to draw a butt. We're all adults here. I would hope. And this video is not for kids. So this is what we have. Kind of looks like a jelly bean or a potato, I guess. So just cut that out. And like I said, you don't even have to do this step. But it just makes more, it's more simple to do it this way because that way the card the uh, polyfill has something to stick to so this is what we have and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna trace this I'm gonna cut out two so I can stick them together to give uh, kind of make it a little more firmer so I can stick the pins in it that sounded so wrong Okay, we have two. Let's go ahead and get this out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and stick these two together. All right. So there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this right on top of each other, being very careful not to burn myself so now that we have it we're gonna come back and we're gonna place the butt here giving it a little bend so make sure it's flexible a little bit and we're just gonna stick that about um, right there so I'm just going to grab some hot glue and we're just going to stick this butt right on there. So stick that right there and you're just going to hold it here for a little bit. Try not to get the dress into the glue and we're just going to hold it. And if some glue seep out, it's fine. Just going to and I'm going to turn it to make sure it's not a crooked booty. Once again, we all adults here, so. I just thought this was really funny and cute, and um, I guess it's just, I guess it's something everybody had to like to see the humor in it. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, so here's the butt. And now that, like I said, that just gives us something for the polyfill, the polyfill to hold on to. And you can make it as big or as little as you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to fill this up with glue. And we're just, I'm just going to go ahead and pull off some and stick it on here. And then I'm just going to, when this cools down enough for me to touch, I'm just going to start filling it up and tucking it under the skirt. Because it's, no one's going to, it's going to be, the skirt is going to be glued into place. So no one's really going to, you know, once I start filling it, no one's going to be able to pull it up and see it. So now that we have this step done. I, this is where I am going to pull, pull her dress down, and then we're just going to start stuffing the fit polyfill in. You get the size of the booty to the uh, size that you want it, and like I said, play around with it. I'm going to add a little more fluff to it, so we're just going to turn it down a little bit. And I guess I'm going to add 
some more fluff until I'm happy with the shape and size of the butt because I want it to be right in the middle so yeah okay this is what we have <laughs> so far let's make sure that her butt ain't crooked there we go so this is what we have and like I said we're gonna glue her base her uh, skirt down if you decide to and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick a couple pins in there so y'all can see so this is as you can see they go in all nice and easy so we'll just go ahead and stick them in there and there we have it I'm gonna leave those in while I continue to work on the rest of her so this is what we have so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the hair so what I did for the hair I mentioned I just took some yarn and I just tied it in a knot and I'll show you so I cut two pieces of yarn that I have here this is what I have and all I did was tied it over pulled it and you have a knot and we're just gonna go ahead and just place that in her hair and I have some right here and this part can be time-consuming but we're gonna go ahead and do it anyway so now um, I'm gonna lay it down on this side and I'm going to start here and I'm just going to go ahead and stick the hair on being very careful that you don't burn your fingers So as you can see, all I'm doing is just adding the hot glue and sticking the hair in place. And I'm trying not to get the glue on the hair because I don't want it to be any glue in it, in her hair, on her the, the base of her hair. So just going to continue to do this all the way around and like I said this part is time consuming but you want to you don't want to rush this part because you don't want to get the glue all over your fingers because the glue sticks to the yarn really well and you don't want to drag that throughout the rest of um, the project so you don't want to have that hair all over the that all over the place so now just gonna continue bear with me I did warn y'all this is time-consuming and I don't want to speed up the process because I want y'all to see how it's done in detail and I am trying to explain it the best way I know how because I when I seen this craft on Pinterest it was done by crocheting and I don't know how to do that like I can crochet and make a blanket or something my sister-in-law did teach me how to do that but the other stuff nah that's and I might have to do some more hair because I may not have enough so I might have to make some more hair real quick I would like I use this one. Alright. Yep. 
So I'm going to have to make a couple more pieces of hair, which is fine. So I'm going to grab my yarn. So I have my yarn here. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut and tie. And I'm going to keep on doing that. Because as you can see, I don't have that much of this color left. So I'm just going to have to make it work. tie this one over and we're just going to cut. I'm just going to cut some of this off because that's way too long. Let's see, That should be enough hopefully. So grab another glue stick and we're just going to continue adding the hair. And I'm just going to do a little at a time. Okay, it looks like I need to do at least two more. And I'll go ahead, stick that there, and we'll go ahead and do a couple more. That's not going to be long enough. So I'm trying to stretch out my color because I am literally almost out of this color, and I was not trying to be. Like, yeah. So, I think I may have some more around here. I got a big tub of yarn, but um, I just got to make sure it's the same color. So, when I do the next doll, because I am doing a bunch of these and um, people have already um, wants to order some. So, I've been working really hard to try to get them done. And since I'm doing them by myself, I can't really... You know, and let's cut that right here. All right, let's get that out of the way. And as you can see, we have her hair in, and we're gonna just, I'm gonna wait it before I start pulling on it. And, um, here. We're going to go ahead and take some of that extra and I'm just going to wind it together and then we're just going to go ahead and glue it across like that. So we're just going to turn her back on her side and we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue right across. So I'm just being very careful not to burn my fingers and also not to have too much white glue showing. And I'm just going to stick a little bit more. And... And I am just going to cut off this extra right there. 
and that's what we have. So now I'm going to grab a hair tie and we're just going to go ahead and pull her hair back. Let's stick this pin back in her butt. And what we're going to do now is go ahead and put her hair into a bun. So I'm going to whip it one more time. And I'm just going to, I want mine to stay just like this. And I'm just going to even it out a little bit. So there. Mine's is going to stay just like this. So now let's go ahead and get her arms made. So I'm going to grab the other sock that we have here. And we're just going to go ahead and make her arms. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut here. Or you can use another color for the arms, but... I'm going to go ahead and go with this for her arms. I'm just going to cut this in off. I'm trying to play around with it and figure out how I want to do her arms. Let's cut it. Fold it here like that. And then we'll cut it up in the middle. like this all right so now we have two and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna roll it over like this and I'm gonna go ahead put some hot glue down through here and we're just gonna roll it being very careful that we do not burn ourselves and I'm just going to fold this in over it on itself. So we're just going to put some hot glue here. And I'm going to fold this up like this. Ouch. And see how I just burnt my finger? So this is what we have. And I'm just going to, okay, and we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to cut that extra piece off. going to pull this back. I'm going to go ahead and roll it like this. going to put a little bit of hot glue here. Roll it again on itself like this. And now we're just going to roll up. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue down through here. And we're just going to, instead of me grabbing it and burning myself, I'm just going to twist this over like this. And we're just going to hold that for a minute. So there we have it. We have two. And I am just making sure they're even. And I'm just going to trim a little because they are pretty even. Okay, we have this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put, let's see, we're going to put one here. So I'm going to grab my hot glue. And we're going to put this, let's see, right about here. So I'm just... um sticking it, putting it here, and I'm just going to hold this for a little bit. I need to move some of these pins out of my way. So I'm just going to hold, and I'm going to put a little more hot glue just to make sure everything is nice and secured. And I'm going to go over and do the other side. So we got that right about here and 
All right. I'm basically just playing around with it. I want to make sure everything is good. So I'm going to stick this right here. So we're just going to put some hot glue on this. And I'm just going to hold this about here because I want to sure, make sure I get everything nice and even. And it seems to be. And there we have that. I'm just going to use a little more glue to secure everything in place. So we're just going to hold that here. Now what we're going to do is adjust her butt again. There we go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take the hands and I am going to be using this type of felt, the same for her, the same I use for her face. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut out a U shape and these are going to be her hands. So we cut that in half and you have two. So we're just going to go ahead, stick that in there just like this. So put a little bit of glue right in the middle, stick that hand, one of the hands, right in there like this and press a little bit to make sure it stays. Do the same thing to the other side. We're going to open that up like this. Stick some hot glue in there. Take the hand, stick that right in the middle. And we're just going to stick that in there a little. And we're just going to squeeze. So here we have it. So we're going to take her hand arm and okay I didn't put enough glue so I'm gonna put a little bit of hot glue right here and we're just gonna hold that until it's nice and tight until it's dry and secured that's what I meant to say so this is what we have so now we're gonna pull her arm out just a little bit just to give it a little bend and we're just gonna hot glue that right to her butt so we're gonna put that right there Stick that pin back in there. We're going to turn it around and we're going to do the same thing to this side. So we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue and we're just going to stick it right here. And I'm just going to hold it nice and tight. And there we have it. I'm going to move the camera up a little bit. So here's her face and um, let's give her some eyes and what I'm using for the eyes is I'm using my um, push pins and we're just going to give her some black eyes and a black nose. So I'm just picking out three little pins and we are almost done. So we're just going to push her eyes in. And like I said, you can do any color you want, any flush color, or I did a um, peach, I did a light brown, and I did um, a black. And here she is. And um, I'm going to look in here and grab a piece of red pipe cleaner for her lips. So I just got a red pipe cleaner. And I'm just going to put a little bit of lipstick or a little bit of hot glue. And we're just going to go ahead and stick her lips right on. And this is what we have. And here she is in the back. And if you want her to be in glasses, um, I do not have the wire to show y'all how I um, made the glasses, but yeah. I'm not sure if I want mines in glasses or not, but the, um, yeah, let's see here. I 
I'm just sticking see if I want how it looks with the glasses on and even if I want them on and here she is with glasses and that is it for this video um and before I close out I'm gonna turn my camera down now on the other one that I made I painted the face white and I put the word ouch right on here and if you want to do that it's totally fine or you can leave it I think I'm not I'm not gonna make all of these exactly the same so I'm gonna have glasses some won't um yeah so uh this is it this is what she looks like this is her um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Um, and with that being said, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video and I hope you all have a very nice day. Bye.